Ladies and gentlemen, this is equivalent to this. What these come by is what these come by. You can imagine how many they are. This is 71,000 Nigerian Naira. It's equivalent to this. This is our situation as a country. For every single American dollar, you need 710 Naira. This means Nigeria's currency is 700 times weaker than the American one. It means that it will cost us more than 700 times more to buy what Americans can buy with one dollar. It means we have to pay 700 times more for every dollar value of the things we import. This is the worst our country has ever been. The more the Naira loses value, the more the value of our income reduces. The more inflation we have and the poorer we become. Some 38 years ago, one Naira was equivalent to one dollar, which means this was equivalent to this. $100 to 100 Naira. It also means that things we paid for outside the country were very cheap before and now very expensive. Now everything we pay for outside the country is more than 700 times more expensive since everything we buy has a link to importation, either directly or indirectly. Then everything becomes more costly once the dollar becomes more expensive. As I speak, the dollar is sold above 700 Naira on the black market, but officially it is sold to the banks at 415 Naira. The banks are supposed to sell the dollars to their customers after due diligence, and in most cases, the banks do not meet the demand of their customers. Many people miss their trips and payment deadlines because the banks cannot provide them with the dollars, so they have to resort to the black market. That is why the black market is saturated. There are more dollars in the black market than within the banking system. The government does not have enough dollars to meet Nigerians' demands. So the black market rate is more influential than the official rate. Some people use the official window rate for rent seeking. They buy at a cheaper official rate and sell at an expensive black market. Having two different dollar markets is a big problem. It causes inflation, declining growth, and low investment and pushes the pearl market higher. Countries with parallel markets face more inflation and low growth than countries with unified rates. Most Nigerians are now afraid of the Naira and would rather keep their money in dollars. That is what is continuously killing the Naira. It is like trying to lock your room in a big sinking ship. You are not safe too. Your house is on fire and you close your room thinking you are safe. You are not. Some people even transact in dollars within Nigeria, and some only transact with dollars. Even the government officials and institutions transact and prefer the dollar. That is why Naira is losing value every day. Naira has always been the one losing its value. Why? And what is the way forward? Inflation is also eating everyone's pocket. Your big money is now small. People that earn small wages or income cannot sustain themselves. Poverty is increasing and as a result, more insecurity. All these because of the dollar issues. So do not think because you are reaping from the dollar appreciation, you are safe. No, you are not. Some Nigerians are helping in dollar appreciation because of their gain or self-aggrandizement. Prices of consumer goods increased by more than 200% in just the last seven years. Also, in the previous seven years, Naira has lost its value by more than 260%. Inflation is going high and the dollar value is going high. How did we come here? What is the situation? And how do we solve these problems? You and I will discuss these issues during the second edition of the Atiku Policy Dialogue. The topic of the second episode of the dialogue is dollar exchange rate and inflation. I invite you to listen learn and hear from other great speakers on the topic. I will share Atiku's plan for dealing with the exchange rate and inflation issues, and we will come up with solutions to address them together. I invite you to do your own research and prepare your questions so that you can speak during the dialogue. I invite you to join me on Twitter and Facebook for robust discussions on the issue. The dialogue will be live on Twitter space on my handle and my Facebook live video on Friday, the 5th August 2022 by 5 p.m. for the English version. <laughs>
The House of Version will be on Saturday, the 6th of August, 2022, by 5 p.m., by God's grace. Use the hashtag ArticulePolicyDialogue whenever you post anything around the topic of the dialogue. I look forward to having you on this dialogue. See you soon, and bye for now.